What I like of the M brand is that it makes a really sporty car accessible even to the non-professional driver. I'm Marco Di Meo and I'm the European product manager responsible for i30N. The new i30N can be described with the three keywords, performance, emotion and statement. Our designer work closely with aerodynamic principle in order to find the perfect recipe in terms of aerodynamic, downforce and drag. With the product enhancement, we have made the new i30N even more fun to drive. We have introduced for the first time the NDCT transmission. We have introduced the NGS system, and also the car is available with the different driving mode. We have enhanced the power output now, and the car is delivering up to 280 PS, and also it has the function of the flat power. Our engineers have worked really hard in order to improve the weight of the car. We are introducing for the first time the new 19-inch forged alloy wheels and the new N light sports seats. Also, in order to improve the everyday driving of the car, we have added some new active safety features and some connectivity features. The new i30N is featured with the four-cylinder 2.0 turbocharged engine. This engine is available with two power output. With the standard trim of 250 PS, the car is equipped with a six-speed manual transmission. While with the performance package, we have looked at what our customer wanted to improve in the car, and therefore the customer can choose between the six-speed manual transmission and the NDCT transmission. This transmission enhances the fun-to-drive character of the car, and it also enables faster shift and a higher torque. This is a wet type dual clutch transmission, which can offer really quick shifting and it's also bundled with the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. The standard trim is delivering 353 Newton meters torque, while the performance package is going up to 392 Newton meters of torque. But what is even more important is that the car is featuring now the flat power function which is basically a function that uh, enables our customer to enjoy more the engine of the car because the maximum torque is delivered since lower RPM and for a longer uh, range of RPM. Both trim of the i30N are going up to 250 km top speed and the acceleration 0 to 100 is delivering only 5.9 seconds, which is an improvement of 0.2 seconds compared to the previous generation. The performance package, which is delivering 280 PS, is featuring some high-performance vehicle items, such as the electronic limited slip differential, bigger alloy wheels, which are now forged, larger brakes, and a larger exhaust pipe on the rear. The new i30N is available with two body types, the five-door hatchback and the fastback body type as its predecessor. From the front, we have unique and cascading grille, the unique headlamps, which have now a V-shaped DRL signature. Also, the i30N is characterized by some red elements under the bumper. While moving to the side of the car, we can see the new 19-inch forged alloy wheels with the red brake calipers. These are standard on our performance package, while on the standard package, they are standard 18-inch alloy wheels. Also on the side, we have the side seals, which are improving the aerodynamic of i30N. Moving to the rear, the car is featuring a, a glossy black spoiler, a triangular light, and also the two large exhaust mufflers. The new i30N is focusing on connecting the driver with the vehicle. Inside the car, uh, the driver can find the performance blue stitching all around the interior of the car, such as on the steering wheel, on the gear lever, as well as on the uh, seats of the vehicle. The end light seats are uniquely designed sports seats, which are made out of premium materials such as premium leather and alcantara. Those monofold seats come with the performance blue stitching and an illuminated end logo on an integrated headdress for high quality feeling.
Those seats are monoform seats with pronounced bolster to improve the driver and passenger lateral support, especially while cornering or when you are on the racetrack. The end-light seats are lightweight seats, which means that we are able to save 2.2 kilos compared to the standard seats. The new i30N is equipped with a certain feature which are for everyday driving, such as active safety feature like the forward collision avoiding assist, which is now detecting also the pedestrian, the lane following assist, and the blind spot collision avoiding assist. The new i30N is equipped with the performance driving data system, which is accessible through the 10.25 inch touchscreen display. Through this display, the driver can modify the setup of the car. He can, for instance, access the drive mode of the car. He can modify some settings such as the suspension, the steering, the exhaust sound, and many other items of the car.